Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius for September 2019. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a who's coming towards you love forecast. So we're going to see what's popping with your love life. And yes, keep in mind this is general. So everything I say may or may not apply to you. If you do want your own personal reading, which is going to be tailored to you specifically, definitely make sure you check out my description box as well as my comment section. So let's get straight into it. Who is coming towards my Sagittarius? For September 2019 in love. Who's coming towards my Sagittarius in September 2019 in love? What's the energy surrounding the love life? Sagittarius coming around in love in September. Okay. So your feelings for your person for this month, your person's feelings for you, the obstacle issue that may come up in love, your person's next actions, advice, and the outcome of love this month. Give me two cards for my Sagittarius for their love life. It's the guidance for September 2019. And the overall energy for my Sagittarius love life for September 2019. Give me two cards. Okay. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, Sagittarius. <clears throat> so the first thing I do want to cover before we get into the actual spread are the Oracle cards. So with the Oracle cards I have here, uh, this is going to be the energy surrounding your love life. And we have playfulness and it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And then I also have retreat and it says it's time for you to disconnect from the world or it's time to disconnect from the world. In the bottom of the deck, we do have separation here, and it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So what I'm seeing here for a lot of my Sagittarius, there is some sort of connection you do have with someone, but for a lot of you, this person may not be talking to you right now. Um, also, for some of you, uh, you are keeping the relationship under wraps until I guess things do get better. If you did take a break from this person for some time, um, yeah, for some of you, you're still holding on to an ex more than anything or emotionally an ex is still holding on to you. And there is this forgiving and learning that's needing to take place, especially if there was cheating in the past. Yeah, a lot of you are definitely going to be reconciling with somebody from your past who you may have had some childish communication back and forth with or somebody who you may even have children with. OK, now, when it comes to the guidance for what to do for your love life for this month. I do have new beginning and it says a new adventure awaits, embrace it and live your life or live your dreams passionately. Excuse me. Then I also have, okay, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will all be surprised where it leads. So again, this is urging you to go towards newer opportunities instead of going back to the past, especially if the past keeps trying to knock at your door um, intentionally or non-intentionally. Um, there's just a need for you to really push for new beginnings because that's going to be the most prosperous. That's going to be the best for you, not the past situations. All right. You should allow certain cycles to just close out. Now, let's go ahead and get into the actual spread here. So the first card is going to represent your feelings for your person for this month. I do have the King of Wands. So for a lot of my Sagittarius out there, you could be dealing with another fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or you guys are really just feeling very passionate about this person with you showing up as the King of Wands. Clarifying that, I do have the Five of Cups in reverse, so... A lot of you are going to be coming out of the space of having regrets, especially if you did, 
you know, do some stuff in the past that you wish you didn't, you will be overcoming that and you will be, you know, finding yourself throughout the situation, regardless of this person comes back around to, you know, be with you permanently or not. But what I am seeing for the energy your person may be feeling for you, I do have the seven of coins in reverse. So they could be feeling as if they wasted their time with this situation, especially if it didn't go anywhere. Um, they feel as if it was a waste of like their investment up until this point, or they feel like you didn't really want to invest any time into the relationship to begin with. Yeah, queen of coins in reverse, knight of wands in reverse. So if you are dealing with an earth sign, especially this person definitely feels as if they wasted their time. And they also feel as if, you know, financially... You may have sucked them dry for some of you. That is not the case for some of you. For others of you, this person also may be very pissed at you, very jealous of what you may have going on with someone else or may have had going on with someone else. But um, what I am seeing for the off score issue that may come up this month in your love life just in general, I do have the four of swords in reverse. Now with this, this is somebody trying to come back from the past. Someone who you did take a mental break from, somebody who you did, you know, put the situation on pause with, may be coming back around. And this may put, again, an energetic burden back on you or this person may just be a burden in general. And this just may not make you completely happy, especially if... You know you can't change the circumstances within the situation uh, with this person. Especially if you do have kids with this person. But your person's next set of actions towards you for this month is the Ace of Swords. Okay, let me get it off the floor. Okay, so the Ace of Swords. So they are going to clearly communicate with you. I feel like they are going to speak their mind and they are going to clear the air with you. Um, and what they say is going to be the truth when it comes to how they feel and whatnot. And I feel like this is going to allow a cycle to finally close out after you being kind of stuck on it and having to deal with these issues. All right. But for the advice for this month, I do have the two of swords and with the two of swords being here, you do need to figure out which way you're going to move with the situation instead of taking this approach of, well, I'm caught in a rock in a hard place, so I don't know what to do. You're really going to have to, again, um, do what's best for you, even if it is going to be one of those painful things. Um, all right. And especially so you guys don't waste your time and love. There's a need for you to not go back into situations with people who don't know what they want as well. And you need to be clear on what you want so you don't waste other people's time. But what I am seeing for the outcome of this month in your love life, I do have the six of wands in reverse. With the six of wands in reverse, you could be feeling like a love situation that you may have been building with someone, maybe a little unsuccessful coming into this week um, or not week this month. Um, you may be feeling like it's not a success in that um, it didn't go the way that you wanted it to, but you guys are going to be relieved when it comes to removing any sort of burdens off of your back that just aren't meant to be there anymore and really just giving you a peace of mind to get right with, you know, your foundation and your family for some of you. Um, so you can put more of a focus on family and your emotional happiness in general. But yeah, when it comes to love, you may be feeling like, okay, this is not what I wanted it to be. So that's pretty much what I'm seeing here for my Sagittarius. I hope that I was able to give you guys some sort of guidance or clarity for what to expect in your love life. If this did resonate, please make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And please make sure you guys go ahead and get your readings. Also, if you do want to sign up for my Patreon, we do have finally that sorted out. If you are interested in getting uh, monthlies, personal readings on my Patreon, uh, definitely make sure you sign up. The different tiers are going to be listed below on Patreon. We do offer um, readings on there for people who are, you know, monthly subscribers subscribed monthly monthly supporters let me use that word monthly supporters on patreon um we are going to be doing the personal readings on there so um definitely check that out and i will see you guys in the next one um definitely check out the site as well if you are interested in the personal readings Alrighty, i'm gonna talk to you 
guys in the next one. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, yes, I think that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.